Pakistan Justice Senator Ivana Batchik to respond to the debate, the debate and she said very generously that she won't use up her full time to help us to get back to timetable. Thank you, Chair. Ivana Batchik, Fitzgerald Kearney Branch, Dublin South East. And as Shannon's spokesperson on justice, equality and law reform, I'm delighted to see so many motions under this heading and just sorry we don't have more time for the very good debate I think we could have on these motions. But clearly we share many concerns. Uh, the need to ensure political reform and accountability in terms of quangos, greater protection for whistleblowers. Uh, we share uh, an anxiety about the proliferation of head shops and we share a desire to achieve a more equal, a more progressive and a more inclusive society. And I think that we need to see a society where the rights of asylum seekers are protected, as one motion suggests, um, a society where, as Rathmines branch suggests, EU citizens should have the right to vote in general elections, and a society where, as Labour Equality has said, the rights of transgendered persons are recognised in law. And I think we should thank all the proposers for these excellent motions. And I'm particularly glad to see in motion 110 a strong reaffirmation of the policy developed by Labour women on sex trafficking and prostitution. On composite number three on Shannon reform, I am excited about that, Dermot Looney, and uh, I do urge support for this composite motion. I think there were eloquent speeches in support of it from both UCC branch, from Dublin Midwest, and indeed from others, and I think we do need to develop a comprehensive and thought-out policy on Shannon reform. I think it's not enough simply to take a knee-jerk approach and call for abolition. There is some, there is strength in the Shannon, and as a new senator, I've seen that in our committee debates where we debate amendments. We do need to acknowledge also it is fundamentally flawed and it does need fundamental reform, particularly in the method of election, and I agree entirely with that. But we need to take our time on developing a proper strategy on that. Finally, on composite number one, the motion on blasphemy. My own branch put in one of the motions that was composited in the, into that. I think that's about more than just this offence of blasphemy. Clearly, we are all very concerned about Minister Ahern's new statutory definition, but I think it's more than that. It's a sign of a creeping fundamentalism that we're seeing emerge in this country under cover of the economic recession. We have to remember that although the Catholic Church has been greatly and rightly diminished by the hor horrific revelations in the Ryan and Murphy reports, yet the Church still retains enormous power in education and its cheerleaders in the Iona Institute and other places are asserting a new form of religious and social conservatism through the media and in our, in our society. And we need to be aware of that. It's, it's both silly and dangerous to revive a medieval crime in a modern pluralist republic. And in the Labour Party, we must develop a new radical social agenda for the next decade. We must challenge the creeping conservatives and the creeping fundamentalists. And we must, delegates, adopt the motions that are here under these headings, under the Justice, Equality and Law Reform headings, to ensure that we develop a legal framework appropriate to a modern pluralist republic. Thank you.